So my name is John Scow. This is my wife, Karen. And um, I was diagnosed uh, with follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Initial symptoms were just a, a small bump on my neck right over here. And uh, it was probably about the size of a marble. And I just thought it was a um, something that would go away possibly in, in a few months and never did. So a few weeks later, went in for the needle biopsy and um, I got a call just a few days later and they said, um, you do have lymphoma, we just don't know what kind it is because it's, it's really kind of tough to diagnose. When we found out, uh, it was shock. Um, life stopped. Just having dealt with cancer in my family, with other relatives, just um, seeing what they went through, good friends of ours, um, you know, a lot of emotions all at once. We decided to call a family meeting. And so we brought all the kids in and we were just up front. Um, this is what I have and uh, we're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna go get treatment as soon as we can. Everything took forever, like the next test to the next test. It seemed like there was just so many weeks in between. Now that we know he has cancer, so it's probably growing every day. We just knew that we had to, we had to act pretty dang quick because it was a very f aggressive type of uh, lymphoma. And so we went to a highly sought after oncologist and um, we also prayed for doors to open and doors to close. And as we were at this oncologist, um, he was treating us like it was a bread and butter case. We're gonna give you these two drugs. You're gonna go through chemo for six months. You'll be fine. And I asked him, I said, well, what are some of the side effects of chemo? And he says, it depends, do you wanna live or die? And he goes, um, you're gonna lose your hair, you're gonna get sick. You're going to be on it for six months, but that's that's all you know. That's what happens. And traditional doctors are tied to Both of they're them. they're tied to insurance, yeah. so they may want to be doing something else, but they can't. At the same time, some of our friends had came down to Invita uh, with Lyme's disease, pretty much the whole family, and they said, John, before you do anything else, check out Invita. I think I made the initial phone call and. Um, so Sam was the care coordinator for our friends that were um, having treatment down here as well. And um, it was, she was so calming on the phone and just wanted to be so helpful. The first words she said were, I'm excited for you and you're going to beat this thing and you're in the right place. So I felt like that was just God showing us again, um, this is really where you're supposed to be. Our first meeting with Dr. Matthias down here was a good two hours. She wanted me to understand uh, the treatments that I would be going through and that it was not going to be easy. The way that they go through a whole detox process of your body, the, the, the way that they give you um, added supplements and um, uh, therapy is totally different than traditional medicine. Us walking in the front doors the first time, you're kind of shock and awe and just you don't know what to expect and you're nervous and scared. Just walking in the doors every day, the girls at the front desk have always just the warmest greeting and smile and just um, make you feel so at home. And I had to travel back and forth a lot um, for work. And so um, just knowing that they really were here caring for him while I was gone was um, so helpful. When we got our final uh, PET scan results, and he actually called in my, my charge nurse because he wanted her to be there with, with, for the good news. And this is just recently and uh, the PET scan showed that all the uh, cells in my abdomen, my shoulder, uh, my neck were gone. It was via phone, because uh, at that time I had been um, gone back to Iowa. And um, so Dr. Matthias had said, well, um, I have really great news <laughs> and shared about the PET scan. And it was like dead silence. No one said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I made him repeat it again. I wanted to hear it again. It's hard to describe. Um... That, was, that was amazing. <laughs> Very impactful. Of course, it's what we had been hoping and praying for. Um, but to actually hear those words were just uh, incredible. They've got a totally different approach to curing cancer. You know, I'm not only a health advocate now, but I'm also an in vita advocate. Well, obviously, as a spouse, you want 
you know, the best care for your partner you know, that you can provide. And um, I would say to anyone to, to do whatever it takes to get here.